Creativity and education. It's power, purpose, and pleasures. What is education? What is creativity? And how do you fuse the two together? Can we as educators fuse the two, and why should we do so? Going back to what is education, academic uh, Roland S. Barth holds two models of education in practice. One is the linear approach, where you have a knowledge base, which lends itself to a curriculum, which is given from an agent to a student, all in a very linear fashion. The second model is an experiential model, where you have the student engaging with the, social, with the general world around him, and the teacher facilitates this interaction between the student and the real world to um, bring forth the knowledge base which they hope to acquire, which is there out in the ether. What is creativity? As demonstrated, creativity could be vocal percussion, but whilst this particular talent may be unusual, each of us in ourselves excels in one particular type of creative action. This could be um, dance, sport, drama, music, comedy, anything of, the, of these things and beyond. But the key is that we need to bring this creativity, this creative element, into the classroom. Question of how do we fuse them? We fuse them, I would fuse them, along these lines. You take vocal percussion and you want to teach for, about Hanukkah. So you take Alhanisim, you take beatbox, and you get this. You take something about the topic you're teaching, you add to it a creative flavor, and this produces something which hooks the students in and develops a passion for what you attempt to teach. Why should you fuse them? You should fuse them not just because it works. You should fuse them because it's engaging, it's relevant, and it makes education fun. In today's day and age where fun is a key factor in life, um, education and creativity together will fuse the two worlds which would enhance students' experience. What are the challenges that may, we may meet with education? This could come from students themselves, this could come from teachers, from um, old school teachers, traditionalists, from institutions, from parents, from different sources. But the key is not to just see that there are challenges and then shy away from them. One has to meet the challenges, not just acquiesce with the status quo. An example of creative education inside a classroom could be getting students to write a biblical narrative, but in rap form. It could be to perform a skit of a biblical narrative or whatever it is that you're attempting to teach. In Jewish tradition, we use many rhythms in through our religious observance, our religious life. We have a laning trop, we have a cantorial trop, and using vocal percussion, in this, in this case, is, no, is not dissimilar to using any form of previous uh, rhythmic-based structure and applying it to current situations. Beatbox is largely improvisational. So what the lesson we can learn from this is that we need to sometimes think outside of the box when it comes to not just creative action, but also education. Using this out-of-the-box thinking, again, will help engage relevant audiences. We must also know our audience. Not every creative act is suitable for every audience that we come across. Some may prefer sports, some drama, some music. Al Darko, we have to go according to, as, as much as we can, the uh, audience we have to work with. An interesting point is we should not be afraid to ask outside for help. We should look not just within ourselves, but from outside ourselves. For example, in our case, Israel is clearly one of the most creative and innovative nations around today. In 65 years plus, very much has happened. No other nation has really achieved that much in such little time. So we should see what we can learn from such creative and such creative expression and implement it ourselves. Renowned um, educational philosopher Ken Robinson, he says as follows. He says, regarding the American education system, we have sold ourselves into a fast food model of education and it's impoverishing both our spirit and our energies as much as fast food is de depleting our physical bodies. So we have to turn away from what is just box checking and box ticking in amongst our educational system and we have to think a little bit more outside the box. And uniformity is not the way to go when it comes to education. Now, creativ creativity versus routine does not say routine is bad. It doesn't say that routine needs to stop. Routine is, is necessary and required to give structure. Creativity is necessary and required to bring within that structure a different and unique framework to teach our students. So there's room to grow in Jewish day schools today, both in New York, in America, and around the world. And it's the fear of the unknown that sometimes inhibits education and it inhibits the halt to education. However, from Jewish tradition, we know that the Chazal extol creativity. How do we know this? In our halachic framework, um, creativity is both praised and encouraged. Alpi darko. 
We know many times that what works for one may not work for the other, and Chazal in, in the past have never shied away from modifying and, and treating different students differently within the corpus of the halakhic framework. So we can both conform to our faith and still maintain individual expression. As Robinson said, we may not see the future. We may not get to see with the fruits of our labor that we implement today, but we still need to act. In the same way, this is something that, that we need to incorporate into our own lives. Moshe Rabbeinu, that we know, he led the nation of Israel up until the border of Eretz Israel, right till the bitter end. However, he himself was not allowed into the land. He asked God, however, because he still cared for the people of Israel, even though he would not be at that time there with them, he asked God for who will take over, who will be the leadership of tomorrow. So in the same way, if we don't get there, if we don't reach the educational ideal that we, that we propose for the system, we still have to act and do our part to bring forth the leaders of tomorrow to carry on our work as we have it today. We must make education richer, deeper, and more diverse, engaging kids and encouraging their creativity within the confines of the halakhic spectrum. Creativity in education benefits all of us, both teachers and students alike. We have to reach inside yourselves, ourselves, and we have to go outside of ourselves. Find the creative realm that makes you comfortable, bring it into your classroom, share it with your students, and let it grow and blossom in every child that you teach.